Okay, going live. Let's see if this is working. Last time we did a live stream, uh, half the stuff was broken. I think I got it working today. Let me know if you can hear me. I'm drinking coffee. We're having a great day. I'm feeling a little bit healthier. It's been crazy a long time getting over this cold here. I'm so glad to to see you guys today here in the chat. We've got GH, Crispy, Manny, Mark, Jeff, uh, Mikarta, Jaren, Mark, and Duffman. Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, today we're going to look at some stuff um, that's shipping out. If you can hear me right now, please let me know if it's looking good, sounding good. Uh, we've got some uh, people that have placed orders for wallets and belts over the last 24 hours. And on that note, um, you can't see it behind me right now, but we just got some new English Hand Dublin belts. There's not a whole lot of them, but I know that a lot of people had been sending us requests to let them know when English Hand Dublin belts are back, and they're back. So you can grab a belt uh, while we have them. Here, I'll show you. See the English Tan Dublin there? There's not a lot. <laughs> so if you want an English Tan Dublin belt, uh, hit us up. We got you. All right. And then I do have something special and new that I'm so glad you guys are here on the, uh, on the live because you'll be the first to know this is something that sells out typically in the past has sold out very quickly. So uh, you being here live with me, you'll be the first to know. And uh, I got a product that we'll put up um, that I'll show you at the end of the video here. But let's flip it over and I'll, I'll get to some of the wallets that we're shipping. Everything we're going to look at still needs to have uh, the final finishing done to it. So edge finishing, polishing of the grain or polishing of the shell. Uh, so with that in mind, we'll take a look at stuff, uh, and then I'll thank everybody, and we'll look at our special special surprise. There's actually a couple special things that we'll look at. All right, the transition over to the table. Take a sec. One one moment here. Okay, and uh, anybody that's in the chat, um, please feel free to ask questions, and then after we go through our stuff here, I'll hang out, and we can... Uh, can answer your questions have a chat all right <laughs> moving across the room here I shouldn't have brought my coffee because now there's no space all right this is a uh, a tray of stuff that's going out today uh, oh i forgot to bring over belts oh, boy. hold on one sec Belts. Those are the English tan. More English tan. We got a few brown chrome Excel. I got a massive. Uh, I got a massive navy chrome Excel belt here first. Maybe we'll look at this one. <clears throat> All right. So we got everything ready to go here. You can see this is a size thirty-eight navy chrome Excel belt, and navy chrome Excel is really neat because it's like a subtle blue, but this is the color that will match most Navy Chrome Excel footwear, which is why we chose the color. It's almost got like a green cast to it. But if you look at the surface color, it's a little bit darker. The undertones are significantly lighter. So it's like an aqua blue underneath this like nice, a little bit more of like a Navy blue with some green cast to it. It's kind of an interesting, interesting blue. We also have a few Baron Chrome Excel belts going out. This one's going to be a size 40, as you can see by our little belt tags, we call them. All of our belts are unlined Chrome Excel, and this is about as heavy as it gets. These are all around 9 ounces, 10 ounces thick. Another Brown Chrome Excel belt. This one's going to be a size 38. And another Brown Chrome Excel, uh, size 32. Uh, I'm excited to get these in, in your hands around your waists. The Chrome Excel belts, I find to be very, very comfortable because they tend to mold and conform to your body. All right, here's uh, the brand new batch of English Chan Dublin, which is exceptional. It's, it, it's just got such interesting character to it. And the wax finish on the Dublin makes it incredibly resilient. So we got this one 40 inches. We do have this one 36 inches. And the last one... Also 36. 
Uh, but great, exceptional character on the grains. We, like I said, we still need to even finish these up. But I, for, there's something about this orange tan color that pairs very nicely with denim. So this is a great denim jean belt. Very comfortable too. All right, let's look at the English tan piece in the boat. This is our first wallet we'll, we'll get in the day. Capone money clip here. This is our most popular leather and color right now. Although, recently that new royal blue has been given it a run for the money. People are digging the royal blue. Because I don't think uh, there's anything that exists that's similar to that. And there's not a whole lot that exists that's similar to this English tan. It's just like a really nice, like, subtle color as opposed to being in your face. But it's interesting enough that just makes a little bit different. So Capone Money Clip, English Tan Double. You can see we do a little bit of a finish job with a little bit of color on the edges of this. And then we wax it and burnish it. it gives it a really nice, a clean look. I have an XL tray here. I haven't put in the hardware on this guy, but this is a huge piece of natural Chrome XL. And see this tracking that's happening? There's just so much wax and oil that has been tanned into the Chrome XL. It's just so rich. And you can really, people like this quote that I tend to say a lot is, uh, you can almost see how it feels just by, by like a amount of wax in here. And then we also have this little bit of a pull-up effect. This is just a beautiful classic leather that's been made for over a hundred years now. It's like become really popular in footwear. When we were doing it in wallets. I actually find the Dublin leather to be a little bit better for wallets just because of the lack of stretch. Uh, so we used to do some Chrome XL wallets. We've, we can still do them, but I think that there's better choices for wallets. Actually something like this, although this is pretty pricey. This is a special piece here, 100% color HL Cordovan. And the Cordovan has very, very minimal stretch because of the way that it was dried and tanned. And just the inherent nature to the Cordovan itself, it's just very, very dense and firm. But what's special about this piece, or at least for me as a, a maker, is it's very difficult to find thin pieces of cordovan for the inside of this wallet. So if you look at the cross section here, you'll notice this outside piece is much thicker than the leather that is on the inside of the wallet. And the reason we do that is it just makes it, a, it sits better in your pocket. And by using those thinner pieces, it lets you fit more stuff inside the wallet and still remain very, very thin. So the challenge is that cordovan is randomly thick and randomly thin. So we have to sort through and find the naturally thin pieces of cordovan. It takes a long time because it's probably like one or 2% of shells are appropriate to use for the inside of this wallet. And it's just tough to get. It takes us a long time to sort through. And uh, Color HL Cordovan, these are one of our best selling wallets. We do have some of these right now too. They, they tend to sell out before we can produce them. So. That's one if you're interested in, or if you've been interested in one, we've got it right now. Here's a brand new brown cypress, which has been, how does it, what month is it now? <laughs> uh, time flies. All right, brown cypress, I think we've had this now for almost two months, but it's a great leather. A very, very different than the cordovan because there's more grain character to it, but it is not as intense with the figuring in the grain like the Dublin. It's a little bit flatter and smooth. And the brown color here, is a very nice true brown shade, very like classic look. We also have a cypress leather in that new royal blue, which is also very popular. Got a couple small zips to show you. And I should have mentioned on the Color 8 Fox that we do this hand stained edging. Um, and let me just show you that. The edges are very, very clean because we take the same exact stain that's used on the cordovan and we apply it to the edge of the wallet. And then we do a little bit of waxing and burnishing. Just like really fills it in and makes it great looking do the same thing on the small zip here so this is black shell cordovan for the outside we have the black horse hide on the interior you see this little bit of hand stained edge that sort of cleans it up and that color eight shell on these small zips looks really great it's very very bright and shiny and then there's something about having like a little bit of three-dimensionality to a piece that really lets the leather shine something i kind of get bummed out about is uh it's really easy to take a photo of a boot because of the shape to it. All the light hits it in a really interesting way, but something like a flatter wallet, it doesn't look as exciting for some reason. Uh, sorry, I keep hitting the camera here. I gotta figure out a new stand. All right, and we also have one in black shell cordovan. You can see we also do a stained edge for the black shell. 
in addition to the color eight shell. And then this one has the black horsehide latigo also really nice piece of cordovan. And the way that I can show off how nice the leather looks is by doing these videos and just rocking it back and forth in front of the light. You can really see the luster as opposed to if I just put it on the table, it's hard to tell like how awesome that leather is. If you have a boot, all the shape <laughs> makes the, the leather look much better because of how the light hits it. All right, here's one that's a good example to show you what it looks like before we finish the edges. This is a Tony the Ant in the classic color HL Cordovan also, but you'll see the edges on this guy have not yet been finished. So we will sand down these edges, do a little bit of beveling and then stain, wax and burnish it. Just like we've done on the bill slot here, you can see the color is matching nicely on the bill slot and on the edges of the card holders there but we have not yet done it for the outside. So this is a Tony and Ant going out today. And the last wallet is also Color 8. A lot of classics today. Color 8 Shell Cordovan vertical card slot Bugs Moran. The outside of the Bugs Moran is no card holders. Very minimalist style. And then we have these six card holders on the inside. So there's two verticals, two hidden, and they're super, super clean. This one also needs to have the uh, edges done on it. That's very, very beautiful. Okay. Thanks for being here, guys. Drop your questions in the chat. I cannot see the chat right now as to not be distracted, <laughs> but let's get to the special treat. Um, I'm putting up something on stream today. We'll put it up on the website. And this is something that, well, there's two things I want to show you. And there's many different um, product pages that we'll, we'll put up live together right now. And if anybody has guessed what it's going to be, I'll be very impressed. All right, so in a minute, we'll put up these on the website. So this is our leather coaster grab bag. We've done these before several times. And this is a great inexpensive way to grab some coasters. There's also four packs of colors and leathers. We actually sort through and pick out the nicer ones for the four packs and then package them nicely like a little gift box and stuff. Uh, so there's like a nice wax stamp box. We got our hang tag, the cloth bag. They're good to give as a gift to just share leather with people. And that's what it's all about. Most of the leather for the coaster grab bag are things that are like off cuts for the belts. So you'll, you'll find a lot of the weights and thicknesses of these coasters to be the same super thick piece of leather that we use on the belts. But we also have sometimes little things like this. If there's little off cuts of leather and we're like, yeah, I, I don't know what I can use that for. We'll cut a bunch. So there's actually a bunch of this. And this is interesting. You will not be able to choose what leather and color you get. So it's it's a grab bag. But this is the horse butt strips with the gator texture on it. And there's a bunch, I'm looking over and there's a bunch of them uh, that look like this. So again, none of this is live on the site yet, but... A lot of different Chrome Excel, a lot of different uh, horse butt strip. There's actually, this is this is actually really cool. This is also a horse butt strip, but this is like a navy blue that's really neat. So there's just random stuff in there. And we'll put these up live in a second here when I go back over to the desk and chat with you guys. I'll, I'll make sure you, you're the first to know since you're here live with me. And again, we have a thousand coasters. And the times we've done these in the past, I think the first time we did a thousand they sold out in like a couple minutes, which is crazy. Then then every subsequent time we've done the coasters, they sell a little bit more slowly. But within a couple hours, they tend to go. So you'll be the first to know here. You you'll, should be able to get them unless somebody goes nuts. And then again, we have the four packs. There's also another something special. But wait, there's more. Um, we've been working on this new design that we're trying to come up with later this week. We've got a couple other simple key fobs. And this is one of two different key fob things. So we're trying to get, our goal here is to get leather into your hands or to more people's hands so people can experience the material. Just a special, special product. So we're trying to come up with key fob versions that we can get to you at a low price. So these are going to be less expensive than our current key fobs. And this is just one of the two designs. The other one's even more simple than this. I have always liked this kind of loopy, key fob design because number one you can sort of do this with it it's just kind of fun to hold and uh, touch the leather especially like chrome excel which is really waxy and oily but then also you know they get the key ring on this side of course i used one of these for many years with a carabiner and we're not going to sell them with carabiners but what you can do is clip it 
inside of there and let it hang off the outside and then clip this whole thing to your belt. I actually found that to be a really good uh, use <laughs> for the key fob loop here. So we got those coming later this week. This one's sort of a sneak preview that we'll, won't put up today. Um, but let's go back over and uh, get these coasters up and chat with you guys, see what you're talking about. See if I can move all this setup. All right, hold on. Be right back. Oh boy, making noise. Hitting stuff, just being a degenerate. <laughs> All right. Oh, so glad you guys are here chatting me up. What do you say we put up? Uh, actually, you know, before we put up those coasters, I want to thank people that have picked up things from the website. Uh, if I read your name in, the, in a moment here and you saw an item that looks like what you ordered, it's probably yours. So thank you guys so much, uh, Samuel, Eduardo, you, Donald, Tyler, Stephen, Matthew, Keith, Raphael, Stephen, Salvador, Ben, Daniel, and Ross. Thank you guys very much. And I'm really uh, thankful for you guys supporting us. Okay, so let us let me <laughs> put up some... Pa uh, no, I was just reading chat. Anybody heard about a new passport? Yeah, we have a new passport. Let me, let me, get, to, let me get to you in the chat. Um, in order here, but let's put up the coasters first. Uh, so usually if you want, these are sh supposed to go up on the sale page of the website. Um, I'm going to put the grab bag right now. All right, so I hit live on the grab bag. I'm going to go to the sale page and see if it's there. Uh, refresh. 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 Is it live? Where is it? I don't see it yet, but it should be coming. Oh my God. Maybe if I just search coaster. Sorry, no results. What in the world? Oh, there it is. I see it up now. So coaster grab bags up on the sale page. I see it confirmed. We're good. We're up there. All right. Now let me add the four packs. There's not a lot. Cause like I said, we, we select and sort through, uh, all the different coasters and just make four packs out of the best ones that tend to match. All right. So All right, we got Navy, Navy four packs. Let's put these up. And the Navy is actually really, really cool. All right, Navy's up. Or hopefully, it might take a minute. Oh, and I see people ordering. I see people ordering coasters already. All right, black. And color eight. I've got something new was the title of the video today. I'm trying to clickbait you guys to come hang out with me. <laughs> I'm so lonely. Natural Chrome Excel. This is how organized I am. I actually use paper and pen so organized in like a grandpa kind of way 
English tan Dublin. There's a bunch of these uh, four packs. And brown Chrome XL. And I think that's it. All right, let's just double check everything's up. Coasters are up, guys, if you were interested in coasters. It's pretty good. They're two dollars. Pretty good way to just get leather in your in your hand. So we got one, two. Seven. All right, cool. I think everything's up. Now let's get to the chat. Let's see what you guys are chatting about. Oh, I see orders coming in for coasters. Thanks so much, guys. Um, all right, Isaiah's here. Joseph, good morning. Crispy, thanks. Uh, and Price, thanks for letting me know that things are sounding good. Floyd's here. What's up, Floyd? Jeff D says your wallet and belt are out for delivery, according to UPS. Nice. It's an exciting day. Uh, Mark, thank you so much. Wes F says, get my English tan dub belt on Thursday. Nice. You must have been one of the people waiting for belts. Thanks for your patience. We, we just didn't have the, the leather or the time um, to, to make them. And we still don't have a lot of them. So I'm glad that you got one. All right. Something's new. Let's have it. Light trees and yeah, new stuff. We were putting up coasters in the grab bag and four packs i thought it'd be fun to do it live here uh just as like a special treat if you were into that uh you'd be the first to know here for hanging out live and then i've got to give a sneak preview of the uh key one of the key fobs that we're going to do uh gh has a good question what does weight mean in ounces ounces per what i know it means thickness can you explain more you know what i don't know i don't know why what the ounces means, but I would imagine there was some, maybe it was paper or something that was like, Hey, this is nine ounces. And it might've meant like per one square meter. I don't know. <laughs> it might've been nine ounces per square meter. I don't know what it is, but to put it simply, like the way I think about it is nine, 10 ounces is like super thick, like belt weight stuff. Most boots, and shoes are around five, six ounces. A lot of the wallets that we do are around four ounces. And then thin stuff like liner materials, like two or three ounces. Horse fronts are lighter weight down there, like two or three ounces. Um, but, you know, five ounces, I believe, is two millimeters. To give you to give you a reference there. Uh, Jaren says, so the higher the ounce, the thicker and heavier the weight the leather is. That's correct. Crispy has a great question. How many colors are there of Shell Cordovan? I don't know the answer to that, but there's a lot. It's because there's a lot and they do have like a library of old colors, of old Cordovan colors. So for example, I know they did gunmetal Cordovan once, which they won't do again. So there's like this huge reference library that I should probably make a video about of all the old Corvin color standards. They actually hold them there as a color reference, but the problem with that is like the leather changes over time, so they tend to get a little darker, and it's it's hard to have a good reference. Um, but right now, there's there's like maybe like fifteen colors they could produce. It's not a whole lot, and they are. I know they do experiment with different colors and different uh, finishing methods from time to time. So you might see something like a skip finish or something that's relatively new, like marbled cordovan, which is not historically like a color that they've, they've run, but it's something that we liked the look of. So we started buying it and now that's become a thing. Um, uh, how many colors of shell? Yeah. Good question. Crispy ocean lovers. Yeah. The coaster sold out before you can get some last time. So great. You're here ocean. Uh, so yeah, hopefully people are picking up coasters. I see it. Oh, I see a lot of people buying coasters. It's always, it's always so uh, cool to have this immediate feedback and, and do this live with you guys. Um, John Hensley says, good morning, Phil. My raw natural shell key fob is out for delivery today. Can't wait for it. Also, I recently gifted my son, Brandon, my color eight shell bugs for his birthday and he loves it. That's awesome. That's a, I love that story because that's what it's all about. It's just like passing the stuff down 
to your family, it's, a, it's an heirloom piece. It turns into something that will last forever. And yes, Mark is correct. You're a good dad. I should start giving my uh, two-year-old daughter just like a bunch of wallets, like dude-style wallets. <laughs> she'll, she'll get it, right? Uh, oh, by the way, I put out a podcast yesterday uh, that people might be interested that check out these videos. Um, if you're interested in footwear and boots, specifically um, American-made stuff, we put out a podcast on... What day is it? Monday. <laughs> uh, full grain podcast. Check it out with Oak Street Bootmaker. Uh, George from Oak Street and Nicole Reen and myself, we had a chat about uh, what they do at Oak Street. And I th thought it turned out really nicely. Uh, so I could use, uh, we could use some viewers over on the Full Grain YouTube channel. So let me actually link that. And then we're also, you know, we're on YouTube, but it's also on um, like anywhere you can get a podcast. You can check it out. Okay, there's a link. People are still chilling. Um, a key fob with a watch buckle attached to one end is really cool. I have one from a watch app maker. I've seen that. It's like a pocket watch. Maybe we could do that. That's a good idea. We could do that. Wes likes the key fob. Nice, man. Yeah, we got the the one I showed is a navy chrome XL. This thing is uh, actually really sweet. <laughs> I really like the navy chrome XL here, and it's got the two tone look because it's the natural core. <laughs> the base color is natural, the lighter color, and then the surface it's that nice like aqua blue, which turned out great. Um, so I'm excited about those. And then we have the anti-copper hardware with it. Those will be coming hopefully later this week in a bunch of different colors. Uh, any more watch straps coming soon, Ben D? Yes, we are working on some more watch straps, specifically Apple watch bands. But if you want a watch strap that is out of stock, you just email us because we can make one for you to order. And if it's something that's on the website that just sold out, there's no additional fee for that. It's just, we just put it in line for you and make it. Uh, normally we try to batch together larger groups of things because it's, it's less expensive to make a larger batch, but, um, you know, for one strap, we will make one for you. So like, if you want one sooner than waiting around for it, we can do that for you. Uh, oh my God. I think I missed some chat. Uncle Jimmy says, hey, Phil, how are uh, how would you suggest treating a brand new pair of cowboy boots, typical break-in time, and do I need to alternate days wearing for leather to dry out from wearing? Thanks for... Yes. Uh, Uncle Jimmy, so there... It's hard to know with that amount of information, but general guidance is when you first get a new pair of footwear, especially if it's like a thicker leather that's a little bit more firm, Wear them around the house for, you know, an hour and take them off for the day. And then the next day, do it again until they start becoming comfortable. It might take a week or so, but I wouldn't condition those new boots. I wouldn't polish those new boots. I wouldn't do anything other than start to break them in. If they're immediately feeling comfortable, just go ham and wear them. A lot of people suggest not wearing the same pair every day. I struggle with that because I like the things I have and I want to just go hard on one thing I'm very singularly minded like that but most people suggest not wearing your footwear the same pair every day um, because it doesn't give the leather and the materials in the footwear time to sort of air out and to dry out so a lot of people suggest you know wear for a day take them off put some shoe trees in let it let it air out and then wear something else the next day that's sort of like the standard guidance. Uh, sorry, I missed your chat there. Um, is it possible to do the small zip with a quick access card slot? Not right now, Duff. That's a tough product to make. All right, coasters are up. One ounce equals 1 64th of an inch. Naturally, it makes sense. It doesn't make sense. S still alarm leather. Also, uh, it sounds like you might be a leather, leather crafter. Good to see you, Ben. Uh, if you want to shout out your your store or anywhere people can check out what you make, uh, still alarm. Just drop it in the chat, man. Uh, 
Um, bought some grab bag coasters. Yes. Thanks, Jaron. All right. Rust Bucket's here. Good morning. When can we expect the key fobs coming? What colors? I'm going to keep that a bit of a secret right now, but hopefully by the end of this week, we're still making them. And I want to make sure things are nice before we sell them. Um, so hopefully this week, if uh, Friday probably would be my best, best guess for a goal, if not next week. Uh, did he? Oh, Brandon, yeah, he got you a color eight wallet, best wallet you've ever had. Hell yeah. Oh, Jeff D, I'm so glad that you're checking out the podcast. I'm uh, honestly, selfishly, I have fun doing it. It's a bit of work. It's like extra time. It's like a significant amount of time. Um, like extracurricular time, right? Like I just lose money doing that, but I like it so much that I don't really care. <laughs> like we don't run ads on it. I will hopefully run ads eventually if like enough people watch it and there's like people that like ads <laughs> or want to pay money for ads because uh, you know it helps me buy things. Like this is a hundred dollar mic on like a sixty dollar stand with like a twenty five dollar cable that goes into like a thousand dollar interface. And then there's software. It's like stuff costs money. <laughs> so it'd be nice to, and this is just like one of the three mics. And then we've got the cameras and then let alone like my time to like edit it all and like write the descriptions. It's, it's like a lot of extra where I could just be like chilling out and watching Netflix. <laughs> so it'd be nice to like get a couple bucks to pay for the stuff, but that's not the goal. The goal is to hang out with my buddy, Nick and just ch chat with people that, are making awesome stuff um so hey thanks for being here guys today uh if you want a coaster they're up right now i'm pretty sure they haven't sold out looks like maybe one of the colors of four packs sold out which is wild yeah there's no more black four packs uh anyways i appreciate you guys being here i'm going to try to come back tomorrow it's sort of uh like every day is like an audible for me like yesterday i didn't uh what day is it today? Yeah, yesterday I didn't come in because I had like meetings. Monday I didn't come or I didn't come to the uh, live stream because people were sick and we wanted to ship wallets. So it's like day to day. I wish I could commit harder <laughs> to doing these, um, but the goal is to do it every day. I just don't do it if I can't. So hopefully I can see you guys again uh, soon. Thank you for being here. Thanks for picking up a coaster. Everybody that's picked up a wallet or a belt over the last 24 hours, you just saw it in the video. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I was kind of thinking about doing another little video about the coasters and then showing the how the water rolls off Chrome Excel, which is really neat. We can talk about like how the Chrome Excel is like a little water resistant, but not waterproof. It could be a good video for me to put together uh, this week also. Uh, next live stream, show us a new Passport wallet. We, we are making it. I had the prototype here, but I think we were using that as a reference to make more. I know we've made some more. Yeah, I don't have it here right now, but yeah, we could do that. We can show you. All right, thanks for being here, guys. I got to run. I uh, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.